Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your Street Lord Hindu Demand. Now, this time we'll just, uh, I'm gonna check in with everyone I feel like you need to check in with and then we will head back to the planet. But first, we gotta debrief these guys. Take off your briefs. Nice. Levels gained. And debrief you as well. Also some XP gained. Okay, so we have level 8 and the level 17 now. Uh, remnant Sun and Daily Nighttime Mission. And this is Remnant Nighttime Mission Bribe Attempt. But what are your new traits again? Skirmisher and Precise. We need a hero and against outlaws. Okay. That is. None of these options. None of that. None of that. Oh, that's an outlaw option. Do you want to go do an outlaw option? Apparently the guy with the outlaw option is less likely to do it because I guess they're lower level. Give it a shot anyway. And the unknown? 55% ch chance. Okay, cool. Let them have fun. I think we're expected here. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant or anything except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarul who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nav point. Gil, you missed your appointment. Again. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. I had a good reason. Which was... When I remember it, I'll tell you. I don't think she bought it. Pathfinder. Sorry, distracted. Feels like things should be on hold until the Moshai business is squared away. It's the neighborly thing to do. And we need good neighbors. He's good with people. Hello. He must like it in here. He ate half our chocolate supply. Do you have any idea what I could have traded for that? No, but wasn't he just upstairs when we finished up last time? You've been at this longer than any of us have. So between you and me, what do you think of our chances? Our chances for what? Surviving. It'll be okay. Yeah, alright. 
this old man. The reminder from Cora. I know you're busy, but Teresa's manuals and writings really are worth reading if you get some downtime. Especially a rock and mail storm and classic work on crisis strategy and emergency response. The first three centuries, the new heart versus buff. You can borrow the copy that Marisa gave me. Nisira. Uh, 12 leaves and mix of medications and tactical insights. This was co written with someone called uh, Artnea. Speeches and silences. This is about her experience in the Battle of Kirkis and all the politicking that led up to it. Also has the original battlefield reads of Sarissa shielding a city district with her biotics. Impressive. It says from the void con contains her induction address to new commandos and the historical analysis of the first Asari Spectres. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks for the rush. Again, I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Suvi. Thank Looks you like we have. Why you're always strapped for credits. Looks like we have a reason to go here as well. Uh, 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 no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here. Or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech. But kindly, stop digging. Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. I don't have to explain genetics to you, do I? Everyone is one of a kind. <sighs> yes, yes, assuming you're not a clone. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Literal devices involved, as well. Yes. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Well, so much for immediately going back. Ooh. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, I wanted to check on my impossible shotguns, didn't I? Oh, this weapon is too heavy. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We can have hovering because I'm generally using melee anyway. Okay, confirm loadout. That's gonna be fun. Not reading any extra mass in here. Nothing under the table. None of the equipment in here would produce extra mass readings. Naxul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. <sighs> My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. When the cat came, 
Why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the Ket are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Have the Ket always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Sol system in the Milky Way. I was born on Haval, uh, our most ancient homeworld. We believe so, anyway. Moved to Aya, first chance you got? I lived there because of the Vassal. It's a privilege to work on Aya, so we have a lottery to share it. Aya reminds me of Earth, a little. I'll show you vids sometime. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. But I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts. Like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. That was a change in tone. Guess there's no extra mess on that one.
And no extra mass in that one. Got it. Subi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Okay. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barra, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Okay, so finding the artist's signature increases in drama this viability apparently. That's Old Orbit is steady. What's this? Tracking a remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing. This remnant architect's programming directives have been interrupted. It is in an orbit the standby mode and remains tethered to its home planet world. From this clear vantage point, obvious subtle damage from repeated freeze thaw cycles in a saturated environment. Many systems seem to be pinging for maintenance. That's cool. Right, let's go back to world. We found smaller, a small change to reach our speed. Wait. Ooh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Come on. This is our colony, right? Probably. Alright. Uh, right. I didn't do that, did I? No, I decided to get on my ship and uh, call it there. Which is fair enough. Someone to the resistance camp. We'll give them our extra supplies. How are you doing? Pathfinder, my scouts told me about your run-in with the architect. I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's not easy losing people under your command. It's my fault. I shouldn't have let them search that far out. I failed them. At least I know the rest of my people are safe. Thanks to you. I tracked down your missing drill techs. They didn't make it. I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Well, that's that question. With. Sort of weird that I was like, hey, you remember that those people who died that you just told me had died? Yeah, they died. That's what that conversation was. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And 
As promised, I did get back to Bold this episode. But I guess I spent a lot less time here than I expected to. Yep. Bye-bye.